Right, we'll do another review. I've not done any for a few days after I did that stupidly one on my birthday on Sunday when I did six pods in one. Um, my guts didn't like it in the morning. I was throwing up and everything. So I've had a few days off. I've received some good pods today from uh, from Dan Reed and also from Andrew Day. So they'll be coming up soon. Dan Porter is supposed to be sending me something. No idea what yet, but it's not turned up. This one I'm doing today, it's one from my pod. What air one one of my plants. It's one of my own nemesis. This one. I've not done it for about a year or so. It's one of from the legendary Bob Fed. Bob Fett. Um this is Clockwork Orange. Last time I did this it was hot. And I mean hot. It was a good tasting pod but man it's hot. It's a pity Bob's not around on Facebook anymore, but if anyone knows or message him regularly, just tell him I was asking about him um, and show him this review if you want. Like I say this is a clockwork orange, I can't remember the cross. Um, people will probably, probably comment and say what it is, but this is one of Bob Fett's. Clean inside, quite a bit of oil. Really strong smell, oh, Jesus. Not many seeds, but quite a bit of oil. I remember this from last time, it, uh, it's hot. Not many seeds in it. But I'll keep them anyway because I, like I like to grow these from Bob's. They are not good stuff. But I know it's going to be. I know it's going to be hot. Good sized pod. It's been picked for a few days, so but it's still good. starting to build now. I don't want to get half of it down. Quite a bit of pod to get down that. A very slight floral, but no, nothing, nothing too major. The heat starts building once you start really, really chewing it and getting it down. It's starting to build now. It's starting to come to the front of my tongue. And it's now really kicking up a gear. Ripening up now. I'm just tacking the front of my mouth and the front of my tongue. Not for giving up on the tongue. I don't know why they attack different areas of your mouth, some from front, some middle, some back. This one directly on the front of my tongue. It's just like you stuck your tongue on a red hot pan and 
It's just burning like hell. Not affecting anything but, but my tongue. And it's just not stopping it, it's just building and building and building. It's not stopping yet, oh, Jesus. This is what I remember from last time I had it. Last forever. This won't stop building. My mouth is slivering. Oh, just trying to cope with this burn on my tongue. I've got a Andrew Day, I've got a chocolate mad ball, um, Genghis Khan, I think it was, and uh, Infinity, Dragon's Breath, whatever you want to call it. All good pods, and I've got seven or eight from, uh, from Dan as well, so. Should be, should be some good reviews for you. Oh, come on, let up. Not stopping, it's just building and building. I've also picked a couple of uh, Kentucky Reapers from my own plants to, to do as well. BOC uh, Reaper Cross, but I've already done that. Right, it's sort of peaked now, it's come up to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Up to just under eight minutes, and it's. Uh, to Pete. It's a really good tasting pod, that one. It's uh, if anyone can ever get seeds to grow it, I de really would recommend it. But don't eat them raw. Fuck me. Put them in a sauce or some dry them or whatever. Right, it's not getting hotter now, so I'll leave it another 10 15 seconds and I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that. Right, no, uh, really dying down now pretty quick. That's all right now, it's bearable. All right, guys, cheers for that. The rest of them will be up in the next, well, I'll keep doing them now, next days for the next week or so. Then eventually I'll get onto uh, Bradley Key's sauces and other people's sauces as well. Cheers, bye.